Hi there, it's Ian from The Ride. Today, we've got a shoe unboxing that would make even Amelda Marcos jealous. Welcome to The Ride. Thanks so much for joining me. Now, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Click the button down below about here. And also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And we love to get your feedback. So please put some comments in the comment section below. Tell us what you think of the video. Tell us what you think of the shoes that you're about to see. We'd love to hear from you. So our friends at Shimano have literally given me a giant box full of their current shoe offerings. There's some new models in there. There's some updates. There's road and there's mountain. So something for everybody. So what I thought I'd do is uh, go through each one, uh, talk about their feedback features and give you my impression. So without further ado, let's kick things off. All right, well, let's start at the top, really. This is the, the top of the line road shoe, the RC9, or the SHRC901 to be precise. A beautiful looking road shoe, this one. Obviously, being top of the line, it's uh, crammed full of features and tech. So let's let's talk a bit uh, through that and see what we've got here. You've got the integrated sole and upper construction, which according to Shimano, sets a new level of fit, stability, rigidity, and lightweight performance. You've also got the Shimano Dynalar system, which helps reduce braking loss. If you're a wide-footed Kiwi like me, then you're going to love the wide range fit adjustability, which accommodates a range of foot sizes and shapes. Uh, of course, you've got the fantastic dual boa. They're independent uh, dual boas there. The dials that allow for quick and precise micro adjustment and release. Uh, you've got adjustable power zone wire guide, which holds the foot securely. And you've got built-in uh, drainage holes uh, for rainy conditions, which is great for, uh, for emptying the shoe of water. And of course, with a top of the line shoe like this, you get incredible stiffness. Now, according to Shimano's stiffness rating, this has a stiffness rating of 12. Uh, which I believe is the highest that, they're, that they offer. Now, as it turns out, I actually have a pair of the previous uh, version of the shoe myself. So let's have a look at the differences there. So um, very, very quickly, the first thing I can see different is the material. So we've got more of a um, uh, less of the sort of golf ball uh, pearl effect uh, material on there. So the upper is a different type of material. This is a bit more traditional. Um, it's got perforations, it's sort of a uh, nice sort of leather type feel. And the other thing I can see that's quite different is this, this uh, mesh material at the top seems to be gone from the latest model. So that's no longer there. So that's probably based on some feedback and some testing uh, that that mesh is now gone. Apart from that, yeah, it's just the finish is a little bit different. Um, matte versus gloss in some areas. But apart from that, um, there's a lot that's reminiscent of the previous model there. So if you've been a fan of the previous version of the RC9, you're going to love the update. Um, I think it looks pretty cool in this nice solid black as well. Um, it's available now, so get out and get one and enjoy a top of line road cycling shoe from Shimano. But wait, there's so much more. Let's go check out what's in the box. Let's see what's next. Out of the box next, we pull out the XC9, which is the RC9's mountain biking cousin. This is the uh, premium racing shoe in the cyclocross uh, cross-country category from Shimano with its proprietary Michelin sole there that which is uh, lightweight as well as offering a ton of traction. Um, in terms of stiffness rating there's a bit of carbon here so that stiffness rating is 11 not as high as the 12 that we saw in the RC9 but 11 is really quite stiff so again uh, really great uh, stiffness and traction in the uh, in the sole there from the XC9s. What other features do we have here? We've got a low stack height sole which helps stabilize the foot during the downward pedaling and stroke. Uh, we've got a one-piece surround upper with a narrow bottom, rounded heel and slim toe box providing a glove-like fit. This is all according to Shimano of course. We've got the dual independent bowers again for quick and precise micro adjustment and of course that fantastic Michelin sole that I talked about earlier there which looks very grippy and uh, very integrated into the shoe. So um, that's a really nicely put together shoe. Again, it looks pretty cool on the solid black there. End of the day, a fantastic cross-country cyclocross shoe, full of tech, full of uh, fit features and grip and stiffness, wasted on me, uh, but um, it would be probably perfect for you guys out there. So let us know what you think of that one. Um, awesome looking shoe, I like it in the black. Um, in fact, uh, when you look at it quickly, it actually uh, doesn't look a whole lot different from the its road cousin, but again, Top of line features, uh, beautifully made. Um, well done from Shimano on that one. That's the XC9. What have we got next? Let's keep this moving. Okay, mountain biking fans, sticking with you with the XC7 here or the 
SH XC701 to be precise. So the younger brother to the XC9 that we just looked at. So what are the differences? Well, the first one that I can see, oh yes, here we go, is the carbon stiffness rating looks to be about eight on this one versus the 11 on the XC9. So not quite as stiff in the sole. Um, also a different sort of tread pattern on this one. And according to Shimano, this Michelin outer sole has a high traction mud shedding tread pattern on the outsoles. Again, it's got the dual boa dials there for a quick uh, adjustment, micro tension. Uh, they're brilliant, these boa dials. Got the dual density rubber compounds that provide the right balance of grip, durability, and flexibility. You've got reinforced spike mounts uh, for extreme conditions. 18 millimeter spike options available on the shoe. So that's the XC7. Um, if you look at it quickly, you can't see a whole lot different from the XC9, but some subtle differences in the tech there. Slightly less stiff and slightly different tread pattern, uh, but overall an excellent cross-country or cyclocross shoe. Uh, you wouldn't go wrong with the XC7. Well done Shimano there. What have we got next? Okay, back to you roadies. And now the cousin of the XC7 is the RC7 or the SHRC701 to be precise. So this is a minor step down from the RC9s and probably, I'm guessing it's down to the stiffness rating on the sole. Let's have a look there. Yep, stiffness 10 as opposed to stiffness 12. So slightly less stiff, but not a whole lot different. Just some very, very subtle differences in the design. Um, I'm thinking, let's have a look there. Let's grab the two of them back out again. Okay, there, just a quick comparison. We've got a subtle difference in the in the sole there in terms of the uh, the drainage. I don't know if you can see the different. Uh, that's the um, that's the RC9 there, and that's the RC7. So slightly different design in the uh, in the drainage holes there. On top, what am I seeing different? Uh, not a whole lot else. Um, dual boa and. Uh, you haven't got that cat's tongue like material in the heel that you do with the RC9s on the RC7s. Um, the RC9s also have the this heel piece here. You could actually unscrew that and replace it, I think, if you need to, whereas this one is uh, glued on to the construction there. So once that's worn through, um, it may be tricky or a bit more involved to replace, or maybe you're just gonna have to get a new pair of shoes, basically. Um, but apart from that, yeah, stiffness rating is, is a subtle difference here of 12 down to 10 with the RC7s. But apart from that, they look very, very similar. Very, very similar looking shoes, beautifully made. Yeah, the, the, the RC9s just look very subtly more premium, but really the RC7, it's great value. It's a good shoe. It's got most of the features, including the ultra rigid, lightweight carbon fiber composite sole. You've got the Shimano Dynalar system, which helps reduce the braking loss. Uh, you've got that supple, high density synthetic leather with perforated venting for superior fit. The dual independent L6 Boa dials and adjustable power zone wire guide holds the foot securely. An excellent shoe. That's the RC7, folks. Beautiful and black. I like it. The RC7 is always a great seller. Uh, it's uh, you know great value for the features you get. If stiffness isn't the biggest thing in the world for you, then the RC7 is an excellent value shoe and really good looking to boot. Right, moving on. Okay, well ladies, I haven't forgotten about you. So what we have here is the RP4, or otherwise known as the SHRP400 for women. Now this is a really great shoe with packed with loads of features at a really good price. Now immediately you can tell by looking at the shoe that we're down to Velcro straps, two of them, and a single boa. Uh, you've got a, a sole here with a stiffness rating of six. So obviously with higher end shoes, you get into that sort of 10, 11, 12 zone. Some of the other features, we've got the high density synthetic leather uh, perforated to improve fit and breathability uh, you've got that yes that single l6 boa dial for quick and precise micro adjustment and you've got offset strap which relieves tension at the highest point of the foot you've got lightweight glass fiber reinforced nylon sole for power transfer durable wide heel pads which provide walking stability and a woman's specific last for natural comfortable fit so there you go that's the rp4 for women uh, a good looking shoe nice subtle design Design there, nothing too over the top, but a good, honest, high performance road endurance shoe. Check out the RP4, great stuff. Okay, we just saw the RP4 for women, now here's the RP4 
for men. So just a very subtle differences in the design there. So we've got the black boa, we've got some black accenting on the heel there. So that's just some aesthetic choices there to differentiate the uh, the men's from the women's models. Uh, you've got the stiffness rating again of six on the lightweight glass fiber reinforced nylon sole. Again, you've got the uh, perforations for uh, venting and for comfort. The single boa, the two Velcro straps there. This is a great affordable, high performance endurance road shoe. The RP4 or the SHRP400 from Shimano. Here's a bit of a first for the ride. This is a triathlon shoe. So this is the TR5 or the SHTR500 as it's officially known. This is the uh, triathlon performance shoe designed to quicken transitions and optimize power from Shimano. That's what they're saying, not me. Those aren't my words. Those are Shimano's words, but they're good words. So let's use them. So let's have a look here. So what we've got here is a T1 quick strap, an extra wide collar, which simplifies foot entry and quickens transitions. Now, I'm not a triathlete, but I know that those transitions can often make or break a race for an athlete. So to have a shoe which is designed to get you in and out really quickly has got to be a good thing. So tell me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I think I'm, I think I'm pretty close to, to a fact there. Now, we've also got the asymmetrical heel loop, which makes it easy to get your finger through the loop to quickly secure the shoe during transition. This is all good stuff. I'm really impressed with this. We've got 3D breathable mesh for optimal ventilation. Not quite sure what 3D breathable mesh is, but I know that what mesh looks like, and there's a lot of it there, so there's uh, some really good venting on the front of the shoe, which I really like. Uh, we've got lightweight glass fiber reinforced nylon sole. Let's see if we can see a stiffness rating there. Yep, I can see a six. So again, sort of medium stiffness there, but again, at the end of the day, people are gonna be running a little bit in these things in the transition. Uh, they need a bit of flex, a bit of, uh, they don't need it overly stiff. So a stiffness rating of six, I'm sure is ideal uh, for performance in the triathlons there. You've got SPD SL and SPD cleat compatibility, which is fantastic, because a lot of people are gonna have different style uh, cleats and have different preferences. So having those options is fantastic. So not being, uh, a triathlete myself. Uh, this is a really interesting looking shoe. So we've got some, some drainage at the front there, which you can see with that uh, little port there to get rid of some water. You've got loads of this mesh for breathability. You've got this adjustability here with the, the strap across the, uh, the forefoot. Uh, you've got this big, easy to grab Velcro uh, uh, strap here, the, the T1 quick strap, which I think it's called there. It feels very quick to me. It's a good quick strap, that one. Uh, you've got this uh, really funky loop, so you can get your finger in there, get your foot, get the shoe on the foot or off the foot, depending on what you're doing. So that's the TR5 or the SHTR500 from Shimano. Maybe I'll take up the sport and tell you what I think, but uh, but probably not. Okay, mountain bikers, are you still with me? We've got the ME4 or the SH. ME400 as it's officially known. It's a high performance, high value off-road cycling shoe. So this is uh, this is the men's style here with the blue accents. Once again, we've got a single uh, L6 boa here for quick and precise micro adjustment. We've got the offset strap, which relieves tension at the highest point of the foot. There's some themes here with Shimano shoes. You're hearing the, the similarities between other models here. We've got a lightweight rubber outsole, which offers all condition traction and grip there. Not a lot of mud's gonna get caught up in that, so that's a, it's a good thing there. You've got glass fiber reinforced midsole for power transfer. Um, I don't think there's a stiffness rating anywhere on this, but uh, I'll get back to you if I happen to find it. That's the ME4. Uh, from Shimano uh, in the blue for men. What do you think? Tell us what you think in the comments below. Okay, I've just pulled out of the box the ME4 for women. Uh, obviously a colorway that might appeal plus the smaller sizes. Apart from that, no difference to the ME4 men that I can tell. Single L6 boa, two straps there, the synthetic leather. So very simply, that's the ME4 for women in the red there. Uh, mighty fine looking shoe, let's carry on. Okay, out of the box, I've just found an old friend of mine, the ME7 from Shimano, which is the SH ME701 to be precise. I've actually done a full unboxing of this shoe in a previous video. So if you want to watch that, uh, I'll put a link in the description below. But very quickly, some of the really cool features of the ME7 are that it's got this high performance Michelin dual density rubber outsole, which gives you superior traction with unmatched durability, stability, and slip resistance. Uh, it's got the uh, Shimano Torball torsion midsole, which allows natural rider flow motion during downhill descents. You've got this really cool stretchy neoprene uh, ankle collar, which offers additional protection from trail debris, so it's going to stop things from getting in the back of your foot there, which can be very annoying. You've got the speed lacing system, which securely fits a wide range of foot shapes. 
You've got the super low profile reverse mount buckle which securely holds your foot. So this is the premier multi-condition trail enduro shoe from Shimano, the ME701. Fantastic update from the previous model. Again, check out the video that we did on this one in the link below. Very popular shoe from Shimano. Great stuff. All right, out of the box we bring out the ME3, which is the SH ME301 to be precise. So instead of the BOA, this one has the reverse buckle to secure your foot, uh, plus two other uh, Velcro straps. It's got your lightweight rubber outsole, which offers all condition traction and grip. You've got your glass fiber reinforced midsole, super low profile reverse uh, buckle, as I mentioned before. You've got the high density synthetic leather with perforations to improve fit and breathability. So this is a versatile off-road shoe engineered to perform on or off the bike. The ME3, I like it. Okay, so diving back over into road, we've got the women's RP7 or the SHRP700 as it's known. So first of all, the first things we notice here, it's got the single uh, L6 bower with um, hidden wire routing there to keep the lines nice and clean. Apparently this has women's specific fit for a more natural, comfortable fit. We've got an external curved heel cup to secure the heel and foot. You've got your light carbon composite outsole, which has a stiffness rating of nine, which is uh, really up there in terms of your stiffness rating. So remember, uh, the uh, C9s can go up to about a 12, so 9 is pretty well up the scale there, so nice and stiff. So, with the RP7, you've got a flagship women's performance road shoe that's going to give you comfort and performance for those long rides. Great stuff. Okay, so now we've got the RP3, or the SHRP301, uh, as it's officially known. And you've got a high-performance uh, road shoe for the which is perfect for club and recreational cyclists. So you've got the high density synthetic leather with perforations for improved fit and breathability. You've got your super low profile reverse buckle which securely holds your foot. You've got your offset strap which relieves tension at the highest point of the foot. You've got the lightweight glass fiber reinforced nylon shoe for power transfer and durable wide heel pads for improved walk stability. So a good honest uh, versatile road shoe, the RP3, looks pretty good in black there, um, and I'm sure at a good price too, so check it out at your local bike shop. Alright, are you still with me? We've got the uh, the RP9s now, or the SH RP901s to be precise. So we've got a really good looking shoe here. This is a this is a very sleek looking shoe with your single boa and your strap across the forefoot there. Uh, we've got a beautiful carbon sole with a stiffness rating of 10, so that's well up there. What else have we got? We've got a supple microfiber synthetic leather with perforations for venting and superior fit. You've got your micro adjustable uh, boa, which is the IP1 dial with hidden wire routing. External curved heel cup, which secures your heel and foot. Durable wide heel pads for walking stability and optimum linkage of airflow upper insole and outsole. Really light performance flagship road performance shoe from Shimano there. That's the RP9. They're saying it delivers unparalleled comfort and efficient performance on long rides. Who am I to doubt? Really like the RP9s and again look very sharp in the black. Okay, here's something a bit different. These are laces. All right, this is the XC5 or the SH XC500 as the official model number that it is. And this is, wow, this is an interesting looking shoe. So this is, what have we got here? We've got a comfortable and functional mixed terrain shoe. Let me just get my head around this. This is a, a mixed carbon sole with an exclusive Michelin uh, rubber outsole there. So the carbon stiffness rating on this one is a seven. So a little higher than mid range in terms of your stiffness there, which is important. You've got this anti-slip uh, material on the arch there, this rubber on the arch there, which prevents some slipping there. Again, we've got these reinforced spike mounts for extreme conditions with an 18 millimeter spike option. You've got this uh, mini power strap in the shoe lacing, which securely holds the foot. You've got your supple synthetic leather, which is perforated for comfort and ventilation. And includes some additional laces, because I'm sure they're gonna get uh, muddy as heck out there on the trail and you're gonna wanna go through a few pairs of those. But really, what a, what a cool looking shoe. Um, again, very sharp in the black. It feels, uh, feels solid, it feels premium. And this is uh, the XC5 from Shimano. It's available in some pretty cool colorways, but again, I think looks pretty good in the black. What do you think? Okay, folks, we're on the home stretch here. Thanks for sticking with me. We've got the GR9. 
and this is uh, an example in the men's and the, with the blue colorway here. Now there's loads of features on this. This is a premier downhill enduro shoe with superb grip, enhanced protection and walkability. What have we got? We've got a Michelin rubber outsole for superb grip. You've got armored lace shield which provides extra protection from debris. You've got the molded toe cap for additional toe protection. You've got a speed lacing system which allows for fast secure adjustments. Any trail runners out there you'll know what I'm talking about. These speed lacing systems are great. Once you, once you securely lock them down and, and tuck them away uh, you can forget about your laces all day. And you've got materials in the uh, GR9 which absorb less water and dry quickly. What's there not to like about the GR9? Uh, it's the premier downhill enduro shoe. What do you think? Well, we're nearly at the bottom of the box, folks, but first we've got the GR5 or the GR, or the SH, GR500 it's known. This is a flat pedal shoe which features grip, protection, comfort style for gravity riders. Is that you? If, if you're one of those gravity riders who love flat pedals, this is the shoe for you. This is the GR5. What have we got? We've got sticky rubber outsole for superb grip on pedal or the ground. You've got durable synthetic upper with mesh for protection and breathability. There it is. There's the mesh for protection and durability. It's available in sizes from 33 to a whopping 48. That's quite a good range. It includes one pair of alternate color spare laces. Again, when you've got lace shoes, you're out there on the trail, you're going to get them dirty, you're going to want some clean laces, they come with a spare pair. What more could you ask for with the GR5's flat pedal shoe? Get into it. We've come to the end, this is the last shoe. Now, if you've stuck around to, to learn about the AM5 from Shimano, then you're top shelf. We really appreciate your commitment to this massive shoe unboxing here on the ride. You get all the points, you're a winner, we like your work. Now, I, I would say we've saved the best to last, but we haven't quite, but this is still a fantastic shoe. This is an SPD shoe, which features performance, protection, comfort, and style for gravity riders. Is that you? Well, stick around, listen to this. This has got durable synthetic leather upper with mesh for protection and breathability. We've got a high grip rubber sole with toe and heel traction and tread for improved walking. A pedal channel for stable shoe to pedal platform when not clipped in. Again, an additional pair of laces in case these ones get a little mucked up, uh, which they're bound to. Uh, although, these sharp looking red ones, you're probably gonna to wanna to take good care of these because this is a fine looking shoe here. This is the AM5. Whew, I think we're nearly done. That's the end of our epic Shimano shoe unboxing. What did you think? We went through 18 shoes today We've, and there's been something for everybody. We've had trail, endurance downhill, uh, racing, uh, endurance road riding. Uh, the whole deal. It's been fantastic. A thank you to Shimano. Uh, we've had lots of fun putting this together. And thank you to you for watching. Have you seen uh, your next shoe here? Maybe you have. If you have, I encourage you to go and visit your local bike shop, support your local bike shop. Uh, we're spoiled for choice these days with the shoes that we have available to us. Um, get ready for the season that you're about to crack into, whether it be summer or winter, whether you're about to go into the trail or on the road. There's something here I'm sure for you. Uh, but thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time here on The Ride.